Hi, my name is Tom from Garmin's product support team, and today I'll demonstrate how to use the radar features of the Approach G80. After hitting a shot, the Approach G80's integrated radar measures swing data such as ball speed, club head speed, distance, and swing tempo. So let's take a look at the five modes of play on the Approach G80. Playing a round of golf, warm-up, tempo training, target practice, and virtual round. Playing a round of golf, pressing the radar button on the side of the Approach G80 will allow golfers to view radar-related data after hitting their next shot. Whenever using radar features, place the Approach G80 10 to 12 inches or about a grip's length from the ball. After hitting your shot, press the radar button again to resume your round. Warm up allows golfers to view radar related data while on the range or otherwise practicing their games. Simply select warm up from the main menu. Place the approach G80 10 to 12 inches or about a grip's length from the ball. Hit a shot and view the data. The next feature we'll discuss is tempo training. From the main menu, select tempo training to work on your swing's tempo. First, select the swing tempo that best aligns with your golf swing. It's best to start slow and work toward a faster tempo as your game improves. While in the tempo training mode, you can use audible tempo tones to help time your backswing and downswing. These can be turned on and off via the tempo training menu. The next feature that we'll discuss is target practice. Target practice allows golfers to compete against themselves or one other golfer while hitting shots at one or more targets. Select target practice. And for this game, we'll select one player. Now you can select from among the targets listed. And you can also create custom targets. To create a custom target, simply press the plus icon, enter the specified distance, and then you can select it from those listed. When all the targets have been selected, press OK. This will begin the target practice game. Players will hit five shots at each target. The number of shots hit and remaining are indicated here at the top of the display. And players earn points based on how close they've hit the ball to their target. The last feature that we'll discuss is virtual rounds. Virtual rounds allows one or two golfers to play in Garmin's virtual golf tournament or simply play a golf course of their choice. Garmin's golf tournament allows golfers around the world to compete against one another on a different pre-selected course each week. To play Garmin's virtual tournament, you'll need to pair your approach G80 with the Garmin golf app. After completing your tournament round, your scorecard will upload to the Garmin Golf app where you can see your score on the weekly leaderboard. To simply play a course of your choice, select one or two players and search for the course that you'd like to play using one of these three methods. And that's it. Thanks for watching. For more help, visit support.garmin.com.